Good day. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Sabernet USB Audio Stereo Sound Adapter. This says it's only for PC and Mac compatible, but I have a feeling we will have no issues with it on the Raspberry Pi today. So instead of using the Creative uh, Sound Blaster Extigy, we're going to be using this guy. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to take our uh, little USB extender here and we're going to plug that into there. Now what I want to do is uh, just use uh, this for being able to plug in my headset and microphone into so that way when I do voice chats or anything like that I'm able to just plug that in instead of having the mixer and everything else all powered up and everything just to consume a lot less power. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly take this guy out of the package and we'll have a look at it. All right, so to open this guy up, we just have a couple of little blue tabs there. I'm gonna pull that and then uh, pull this guy on out. Oh, I should be able to. So, there we go. Alright, so as you can see, this guy is quite a bit smaller than that guy. But, we have more options with that guy than this guy. Let's go ahead, I'm going to pop it out here. We'll have a little bit of a closer look at it. So, we have the Sabernet logo on the side of it. And nothing on the back. And, of course, USB 2.0 there. And then we have our two connections. So, all we should have to do is plug this guy in. And then on the Raspberry Pi here, we should actually be able to... Uh, go to our audio devices and change that. So if I come on up here uh, Might be a little hard to see here. So if I go right here We should be able to go to our inputs and go to USB audio device Now right now I'm on the Sound Blaster x but we want to go over to this guy and then the same thing is going to go for our outputs. We're going to want to switch both to that. Now we can definitely try using the microphone and headset on there and make sure it's working. So I'm just going to quickly do that and uh, we'll see what happens here. And there we go. I've got my headset plugged in there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bring up let's go ahead and uh so let's go ahead and we'll bring up audacity or audacity and if you don't have it installed all you have to do is sudo apt get install audacity and we'll just go ahead get that installed here and then we'll go ahead and try out the microphone so we have audacity all set up here now sorry for using my cell phone for this one i uh, just just what happens here today so I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and try recording, and we are testing, 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 and stop. So as you can see, nothing was recorded there. So what we need to do is, uh, let's try that, maybe that'll work. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Alright, so looks like we have a little bit of audio there. I'm just going to make sure the volume on my microphone is all the way up, and it is. So we can go to inputs, go to input device settings here, and we are on the USB audio device here. Capture, we want this guy up. And auto gain control playback, and now... If I try recording, this is a recording to try to see how well this is going to do. Alright, so now that's working, uh, 
right there. I'm just going to play it back, make sure I hear it in my ears here. For some reason, it doesn't want to play back. All right, anyways, we do have that, so let's try something else. This is another test on the Raspberry Pi to see how well the microphone is working. All right. Huh, I might have to relaunch that. All right, let's try this again here and see if we can get a better result this time around. Testing. This is testing on the Raspberry Pi 4 with the Sabernet USB adapter. Alright, so let's go pulse. This is testing on the Raspberry Pi 4 with the Sabernet USB adapter. All right, so it looks like we have audio. We just don't have the output going to where it should want to. So, um, um, All right, so I just tested it here and I wanted D-Mix to be able to listen to it on my headset here. So I was able to hear uh, that recording played back in my headset. No problem, sounded good. Um, so everything looked good there. I certainly could adjust the volume of, all the way up on my output settings or for the microphone and then be able to adjust it within the program here on the top. So, all in all, uh, the uh, Sabernet USB audio uh, stereo sound adapter seems to be working fairly well. I definitely will be trying it out on a few other things uh, to see how well it performs, but uh, as these USB adapters go, there's not much to them and not much you can mess up. So, if you're unable to find something like this in the Creative Sound Blaster XTG, uh, unable to find something like that or a mixer, you can spend, you know, 10 bucks or under on one of these Sabernet adapters off of Amazon or wherever. Uh, it doesn't even have to be this brand. I just bought this one because it was the cheapest one with a name that I knew. So that's the only reason why I had bought in this one uh, instead of a generic one. Uh, with a, like a, a volume dial on it and a bunch of other little things on it. I just wanted uh, the most basic one that I could find that uh, was of decent quality. So going with a brand that I knew that I, I kind of trusted. So uh, with that being said, um, yeah, if you want me to test anything else on this thing, feel free to uh, comment below. With that being said, thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?